Look what we found, guys. Have followed me inside from outside. Yesterday evening at like 1 a.m. It like it like nuzzled up against me and just kept following me and I couldn't leave it outside. Not in the cold. And it's way too soft to be a wild cat or a feral cat. And it's way too friendly and tolerable of a Titan. Haven't really checked too much if it was a girl or a boy. It could be a boy because boys are usually this dual color calico, or not calico, but a uh, uh, tabby. This also looks like she might turn out, he or she might turn out to be a long haired cat. Definitely longer hair than her. She ain't taking it too kindly. Thinks the cat's up there. She's in here, bro. I keep calling it a she, even though I don't know what it is. Are you gonna get messed up? Are you gonna are you gonna protect him or her? It. Welcome to the new clip of the week, guys. Check out my lighting. And I have lighting up there too, but I guess it got turned off. I don't know if you can really make out the colors in the dark. That one's yellow and that one's orange. It's supposed to be like the sunset. That's what I, I got to fix that. This is the deepest look you guys have gotten to the setup yet, I think. Uh, I'm actually going to be redoing all of this wall soon, hopefully. And I'm going to get some stands for these and some lights for the room. Some cool, like, spiral lights. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. But I just mounted this onto the side of the desk. But it's, I also made it so that it's movable. So I can't really do it one-handed, not very well. Well, I can't pull it out right now because all the cords are connected to the back. But here's an example. I could at least swivel it a little, see? I can pull it out to about here so I can get to the back of it and the stuff inside. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. And I don't know if I showed you guys this. I got this last week. They're both super fascinated by it. Oh, your LED lights in the Amazon Echo. I have a, a video out on the channel about that. Really fascinated by the cat. Huh? Got something you want to say? Huh? Got something you want to say? Got something you want to tell people? Yeah? You gonna tell us? Oh, is that how you feel? Is that how you feel about everybody? You got something you want to say too? You want to go meow? Maybe I should name you Snickers. Seems like a good name. Snickers. 
No. What a good boy. Well, this is what I get. This is what you get for for rescuing a, a cat from the cold weather outside. You're going to fall backwards, and it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you because you're going to claw me. But, oh, that hurt. Okay, dude. Uh, we all get it. <laughs> this is what she did last night, too. She just cuddled up right up against my neck, wrapped herself around me, and then fell asleep. Can you take your claws out? Thanks. I don't think my other cat likes you very much, Snickers. I can call you Butterfinger. <laughs> Cats are getting along. It's pandemonium. Happy Halloween, Titan. You and your red little paws. Can't really see them there. You red paws and blue tail. They're laying together. Oh, you're such a good boy, Titan. You're such a good. There you go. I knew you'd find your spot eventually, buddy. I think your owner told me your real name was Pete. He's going to come get you tonight, buddy. We found your dad. He's going to come get you. He was super happy to see you. One night. Well, he's super happy to know that we found you. Apparently, you've been gone for a couple weeks, haven't you, little buddy? He went off exploring, and then was like, I want to go home. Couldn't find your home, but you found me. I wonder how many people saw you and just ignored you because they thought you were a stray begging for food. But I knew that there was something more up with you when you started following me. I knew that you weren't just a, a stray kitty, but a kitty who was lost and cold. Oh. We finished moving Ryan out, packed up all his stuff, and we're driving away. It's the last time he's going to see this area. It's the last vlog that takes place in Lynn, Missouri. Maybe. It's been a... What the hell was that? Yeah, we well, extending that? trying to look over. <laughs> I told you, you you have to look right for me. 
I'm not going to be able to see. Well, you know you're blind. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maybe you so, get you a power wheel. A power wheel? <coughs> power, power, power wheels. So, what's it feel like, Ryan, to finally be living at moving out of the secluded area of Lynn, Missouri? Um, it's looking forward to it, but I'm also I'm not the, it's kind of depressing the way I'm leaving. Are we gonna drive by the old house? I really don't want to. Nor do we have the time. You're right. No seeing the old house for a last time, you guys. Oh, you're a dick. Oh, no more blue light. Bye, old house. It looks like somebody's living there. And look, they, they tore down the uh, house that caught on fire. It's just a... Overgrown mess of trees now. Or just black darkness on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> and we're coming up on David's old job. Damn, too many hot mouth breathers in here. Too many mouth breathers. I can't believe these people didn't fucking hire me. Every time I try to get a job here, there, there was always like 15 other people also trying to get this job. It's not like there was a lot of opportunity for jobs in this town. That's, that's exactly what I've been saying. BJ's really made their place look nice. Yeah. I'm fucking hungry. Me <laughs> too. We haven't eaten all day. Here's BJ's. Where is the laundry going to fit in here? <laughs> that is a very good question, Ryan. Well, well, we're not... Uh, well, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to just, go to the laundry mat, put our laundry in the dryer. Yep, and then we... Then uh, go eat. Then go drop this off. And by the time we drop all this stuff off, we can go grab the laundry. How much was your laundry? Your load? Four dollars. So, what do we have? Like, eight bucks left? We're going to probably have to... Uh, I really hope I pick up that car. Then. And this is Ed David's other work. Up here, Mickey D's. Ba, 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 ba. That was a horrible. That was a horrible rendition. It's more like ba da ba ba. I have diabetes. 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 Really what card was it? Bye, Lynn. What Up, guys. It's me doing the last clip of the week. It's Sunday night. I was hoping to have tomorrow off, but I found out I work tomorrow too. They have all told me that I have to work tomorrow. Up in the front area, which is a bummer. And it's a bummer that I have to work because I was really looking forward to that day off. I've worked the last three days. Um, they wanted me to work Thursday too of last week, and I was like, oh, nope, not going to happen. But So I'm going to try to get a look up. Six days in a row without a day off, which I'm not down for. I'm sorry. It's just not me. I'm not that dedicated to working, even if it is an easy job. I'm sorry. I know how this sounds, okay? Just, I'm not. Anyways, check out the collection I got. I got the complete Calvin and Hobbes collection of books. Because I love Calvin and Hobbes. What's not to love Calvin about Calvin and Hobbes, man? I grew up with it with these books and I saw this online. Oh, I didn't grow up with these books, but I grew up with these comics. And uh when I saw a chance to get these, man, I was like, man, I gotta get those. I also ordered some new carpet and a black light. Uh I don't know what's gonna happen in regards to the new carpet, but uh the black light should be here on Tuesday. I don't know when the carpet'll get here. And I'm playing the Fallout 76 uh, beta. I believe this is the last night of the beta before it uh, before it is over. And it comes out in like two weeks. So hopefully I'll have the money to get it. We will see. Anyways, Ryan's invaded my house. Uh, and 
So he's there till like March, hopefully. Only until about March, uh, is what I mean. Uh, so that's cool. He needed a place, so I was like, sure, man, come on down. Helped him move here uh, Thursday, I think it was. Um, I don't know why I don't like showing myself. You just get to see this stupid fucking crap that I have around here. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I told you what's going on. Uh, the, ar the carpet I got is like arcade carpet that you would see at like an arcade or in a movie theater or something. So it'll look cool under a black light, which is why I got a black light. And it'll look good under normal circumstances, you know? And it's a little... Th I, th I think it's going to be thinner than the carpet I have right now, which will make it easier to roll a rolly chair on. I don't know what I'm going to do with the carpet I have now, but I'll figure that out at some point, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, until next time, thanks for watching this clip, this video, this vlog. Uh, I hope to finish one of my audio stories I'm working on uh, this week. Hopefully tonight, tomorrow... I don't I don't know to be honest. I really don't. We'll see though. I got another one I'm working on too that I think people will really like. We'll see what happens. Talk to you later. Peace out.